uh, Polish. Um, and then my mother is German as well. So my, my um, Wisniewski side, Wisniewski side is 100% um, Polish. And then my mother is mostly German with a little bit of Irish. No, nine, nine. <laughs> I, I do. Uh, eins, zwei, drei, vier, fünf, sechs, sieben, sieben, acht, neun, zehn. See? Look at that. Pretty good. Dankeschön. Dankeschön. So my, actually, my first sport was probably golf. Uh, golf and baseball when I was about like one and a half or two. Anything you could pick like a stick up and just like whack it around. Um, I think I kind of started late in hockey, about four and a half, five years old, started skating, which I mean, you have some Canadian guys that start when they're two, three years old. So I guess that could be considered a little bit later. Um, and then, you know, I, I played pretty high competitive baseball um, all the way up to I was like 17, 18 years old. Um, played high school basketball. So and I still am an avid golfer to this day. Probably play four or five days a week I'm at the course. So you know, I, I really enjoy a lot of other different sports. It kind of chose me. I didn't know if I was going to play baseball or hockey. And then um, my senior year, uh, my draft year in baseball and, and um, hockey, I tore my ACL at under 18s in Slovakia. Um, so that was my first knee injury. And then you know, I couldn't play my whole senior year in baseball, and then I got drafted in hockey, so I decided to just play hockey. Um, you know, I, I, I'm not counting it out. Um, we're going to have to see. I'm going to have to, you know, talk with Team USA after the Deutschland Cup and, and see, you know, where I stand in the depth chart. Um, and, yeah, for me to... I couldn't really, I was hoping to get a job still back home, get a tryout. Um, that didn't happen, so kind of waited a little too long. All the jobs kind of got taken up, and it was just kind of weird that nobody tried to give me an opportunity. Um, came here, and I've had a uh, you know, pretty good experience here. I've been playing pretty well and you know, getting in you know, hockey shape, and you know, I'm f starting to feel great. Um, actually, um, yeah, Jim Johansson with Team USA is the general manager, knows Joe Gibbs, and I was having a hard time finding a, a job, and I needed to get over here and play. You know, I needed to play some hockey games, and you, you could stay back home and work out or practice as much as you want, but until you play games, it's, there's, no, there's no, um, nothing like it. You can't train that hard, so once you get into game shape, that's the only way to do is play games, and so they... they um, they talked, and I got a hold of Joe Gibbs and, and Rico, and you know they, they said they were more than welcome to, to bring me aboard. You know, it's, um, it's competitive hockey, you know, especially with the Olympic ice, and the guys can skate here. Um, you know, I've obviously, I, I played in you know, the, the highest level possible for you know, 10, 11 years, so um, you know, these guys, they, they work and, you know, like I, I know what I can do. So as long as I'm playing games and, and staying in, in game shape and keeping sharp, then, you know, that's all it's, that I'm looking for. The fans, oh, it's, um, you go to some buildings and the first period, I, I, I remember my first time in Frank, Frankfurt, I couldn't hear the first period because all the fans down there beating drums and screaming the whole time. So when they come in the offensive zone, your defensive zone, usually you're able to talk to the, uh, your, you know, your uh, defense partner. And by far, you can't, like, can't hear a thing. In the NHL, there's, they don't scream during the, the play. They just kind of, it's like quiet. You can almost hear guys yelling. Obviously, when you score, there's 17,000 fans. So it might be a little bit louder when you score there. But as an overall experience, it's, it's nonstop, you know, making noise here in, in, uh, in Germany.
Well, <laughs> I kind of got yelled at, scolded a little bit my first time. It was the, I don't remember what, it was the outdoor rink kind of. I had, a shoot, I had the shootout goal there. And people started throwing beer, like plastic cups at us. So I was like, and so I like turned my stick over and acted like I was like hitting him with baseballs, but people still had beer in it. So they're like splashing on us. And I found out later it's like for charity, like they get a dollar a cup. So some fan like scolded me, but I mean, they're still throwing them at us. Like they're, you know, I got hit with a couple beer cups. So, but it was actually pretty funny. But I think it's great. It's a, a great gesture by the, the fans. And, um, you know, now I know. I was told today that they are going to do it again. So be prepared. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm going back home Monday, um, so I'm going to be able to go to see them and see them for a week. And, you know, it's been tough. You know, last year I did the, kind of the same thing when I was in Russia, and then I went to Chicago and didn't have my family there. So it's never easy with, you know, missing your kids, your young kids grow up. But, you know, that's kind of, the, you know, the way um, this hockey world works. And obviously I've been doing it to try to, you know, fulfill a dream of being able to become an Olympian. So... You know, we'll have to have a good talk and see, you know, see what comes about when I'm when I'm back home with them. How, you know what? How many people actually speak English? Everybody speaks English, and everybody's really nice. Um, I've like uh, I've had you know such a great experience here. Um, everywhere I've gone, and people are friendly and. Beer is good. <laughs> um, food is good. People are nice. So I've been having, you know, a great time. You know, the fr one thing I could say about my career is that I wasn't given anything. Um, you know, when I hurt my knee. I got drafted in the fifth round. It was supposed to be a higher pick. You know, then kind of just had to work my way up. I think I was like the fourth or fifth D-man called up in Chicago's organization. And then, you know, I kind of up and down and then, you know, finally got my chance and took, you know, took advantage of it. And then I tore my knee again, had to fight back, tore it again and had to fight back and just kept, you know, battling for my career, battling to become better and better hockey players. So, you know, the one thing I, I know is that, um, you know, if it wasn't for my body, I'd still probably, you know, still be playing. You know, unfortunately that my body gave out on me a little bit, but you know, I know that I gave it my all, and I think I was probably, you know, earned a lot of respect from, from the opportunity that I had and, you know, what I became from the first couple of years pro to when I finished. Um, you, you know, I, there's a lot of young talent here. And, you know, like, like Panther, our goalie, he's, he's played, you know, really well. Um, and I think it's a little different just because the young guys that are 18, 19, 20, they're still being juniors or college, you know, back home, but now they're playing pro. So it's a little bit different. And they, they get to, that, you know, get that pro um, experience of playing against, you know, grown men with families. And so for them, it's just, you know, kind of keep with your dream. You, know, not, you never know what can happen. And um, nobody can take away from hard work. So if you just keep going, then anything is achievable.